A few days back, one of my subscribers wrote to me and requested me to make a mnemonic for Section 3 provisions because otherwise it is very difficult to remember all the provisions pertaining to Section 3. And unfortunately, in the patent agent examination, you need to remember all the provisions as you do not have direct access to the book. So, I've tried my hand at creating a mnemonic for Section 3 provisions. So, I will begin this video with a disclaimer that it is very difficult to make a mnemonic as such for legal provisions. What best you can do is select some hint words in the provisions based on which it would give you an indication as to what the provision or the section relates to. So, my approach was to select some hint words in each of the subsections of section 3 and make a mnemonic out of those. So, you will have to get the idea of the entire section or the provision based on those hint words. In examination, you need not remember the exact language of the provision. You could also mention it in your own wordings provided you maintain the legal sense of the provision. Also, I have divided section 3 into two parts because it would have been very difficult to make a single mnemonic for the entire set of provisions or entire set of subsections of section 3. And so, you will have to remember two mnemonics. So, let us see what the mnemonics are. So, this is the first mnemonic wherein I have considered subsections A till H. Please note that there is no subsection G and that is the reason I have also considered the subsection numerals in the mnemonic. So, for each subsection you will see I have made a phrase which is here. And in this, the first word refers to the subsection and the second word refers to the hint word in the provision. Also, in the middle column, I have included the entire language of the subsection. So, I won't be reading it out because otherwise the video would be very long. I'll just mention the hint words that I have used. So, for subsection A, I have used the hint word as frivolous. So, for subsection A, you will have to obviously remember that the invention which is frivolous or which is contrary to established natural laws would not be considered as patentable. So, from frivolous, you will have to also remember the other element in the subsection which is contrary to natural law. So, selecting A from the subsection alphabet and F from frivolous which is the hint word, I make a phrase a freshly. For subsection B, I have selected the hint word as public order. For subsection C, I have selected the hint word as discovery of a scientific principle or an abstract theory. So, the hint characters would be D and A. For subsection D, I have selected discovery of a new because section 3D basically relates to a discovery of a new form or maybe a new use or a new property of a known substance and thus new is an important word here. For section 3E, add mixture is the hint that could help you remember the language of the subsection. For subsection F, I have used arrangement as the hint word and therefore I have selected A as the hint character. Again, you would notice G is a missing subsection. There is no subsection G. For subsection H, I have selected agriculture as the hint word. So, after selecting all these hint characters, the mnemonic that I have made is a freshly bald person dab or apply day and night eggs and fertilizers as hair activator. Obviously, this sentence doesn't make any sense but I believe it should help you remember the provisions in slightly better manner as compared to what you have been doing now. You would at least remember the hint words and based on that you could make the language of the provision knowing what are the broad outlines of that particular provision. So, coming to the remaining part of section 3, I, here I have considered subsections I through P. Again, for subsection I, the hint word word is medicinal and the hint character is M. For subsection J, I have selected the hint word as plants. For subsection K, I have selected business method or a computer program. For subsection L, I have selected literary as the hint word. For subsection M, I have selected scheme as the hint word. For subsection N, I have selected the hint word as presentation and thus P is the hint character. For subsection O, topography is the hint word. And finally, for subsection P, I have selected traditional knowledge as the hint word and thus T is the hint character. So, based on the hint characters, the mnemonic that I get is I mostly just prefer king size butter cube, lettuce leaves in my sandwich, no poultry on top for pure taste. So, here you would see I have uh, put in and for in brackets. This is not a part of the hint word or hint character but I have just included it just to for the mnemonic sentence to make some sense even though it is not making any sense but again just to put it in a statement form I have added just these two words and 
you just need to ignore them these are not part of the language of the of the subsections so these are the two mnemonics that i have created you could write them down and practice to learn these while it may not be very easy to remember the mnemonics as well but i believe it would be still easier than remembering the entire language of the different subsections in case you feel there is an easier way of doing this i would be happy to hear your comments regarding this particular aspect thank you very much